Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use Ultra B in Logic Pro X. Let's get into the video. All right guys, so I got a sample loaded up here just so that when I'm putting in the drums, it's not just gonna be the drums by himself so that I have the sample as well. I'm gonna start by creating a new track and I can do that by hitting Command Option and S or hitting this plus right here and Software Instrument and hitting Create. Once you got the track open, you wanna go over here to where it says Instrument and then click on that and then you're gonna scroll down here to get to the U and it's gonna say Ultra Beat Drum Machine and then you can pick to go with stereo or multi output and I like to go with stereo so I'm gonna click that and it's gonna load up right here and now I've edited my Ultra Beat to look like this but what you want to do is Ultra Beat will probably load up a drum kit to start so I'm just gonna click on this one so it'll start with the drums like this or something like that you want to make sure you clear all of these right here and then you're gonna see here that there are all of these samples right here. So what you could do is you could go through each one and then click on this arrow right here and click unload sample and then do that for each one. And that's what I did. And then I just hit save as default. But what you can do as well is you're gonna to go to drum kits and then go to the drag and drop samples. Once you have this drag and drop sample thing right here, make sure you're on sample 25 and then you're good to go to drag in your drum sounds. With Logic, there are two ways to drag in drum sounds. The first one is by going to Finder. And then on my desktop, I have a drum kits folder right here. So I can just load up like this drum kit right here, pick a clap, and then just drag it into the sample right here, and it's good to go. And now make sure you click this power button right here. And then just like that, it's good to go. And it's clipping so what you want to do is make sure you drop it down so it's no longer clipping and then you got that basic clap pattern you're gonna go right here to where it says pattern and click on this and then just drag it into the window and then make sure you turn off this power button after and just like that you got yourself a clap loaded in so that's pretty much all you have to know for how to use ultra beat and that for pitching hi-hats um it's a little bit different so i'm going to show you guys that but first i'll show you the other way you can drag in samples the other way to drag in your drum sounds is by clicking this button right here. I think my screen recording cuts it off, so I'll put a picture of it on the screen. And then you're gonna go here and it has a project and then all files. You're gonna click all files. And then you're gonna click wherever you keep your drums. So desktop, I'm gonna go to my drum kits folder right here. Then I can just pick any drum kit I want. So I can pick this drum kit right here, click hi-hats. And I like this hi-hat right here. So you just drag it in and you can close that. And then say I wanted to edit this because it's coming in a little late, as you can see right here. As you can see in the waveform, it's like way back. You wanna hold this main part right here and then drag it closer to the start. And for hi-hats, you could go super basic and then just highlight all of these. And then click on this resolution button right here and go to 1 8th. And then just drop the volume. And then you got a basic um, two-step pattern right here. Now what you want to do now is for pitching them, you can go here to pitch and make sure you drag this down to C2 or 130.8 hertz right there. And then when you drag it in right here as a MIDI file and then close Ultra Beat, and then you're going to open up the piano roll. And then what you want to do is you're going to see that it's like an octave down. So hit Command A to select all the notes and then Option Shift and up. And then it'll be at the right pitch and then you can pitch them down like this. Just like that, that's how you're gonna pitch drum sounds. All right guys, now I got an open hi-hat loaded in and this is one of my favorite open hats. And I'm gonna just put it down on the downbeat right here and then I'll play for you guys real quick and this is what it's gonna sound like. As you can see, it gets cut off really, really short because the envelope is gonna cut off at 36 milliseconds. So by dragging this release part out right here, it'll change how long the open hat plays for. That's another quick tip on how to manipulate your sounds in Ultra Beat. All right guys, that was a super simple tutorial, but hopefully it helped you out if you were wondering how to use Ultra Beat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, I'm out. Peace.